Hello viewers, I am Maitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSE Max Trigonometric Function Miscellaneous Exercise Question number 8. Let's see the question. Tan x is equal to minus 4 by 3 where x is in second quadrant. So they have given that x lies in the second quadrant. We know this is 0. This is pi by 2. Here it pi. Here 3 pi by 2. Now here this is from 90 to 180 and they have told it lies between the x lies in the second quadrant that means x is greater than pi by 2 x is greater than pi by 2 and less than pi okay x is in second quadrant so we have written x is in second quadrant they have asked us to find sin x by 2 cos x by 2 tan x by 2 we can't just divide the values of to get x by 2 we can't do that way for that um, I need x by 2 means I just want to know whether in which quadrant this x by 2 lies x lies in the second quadrant it not necessary that even x by 2 lies in the second quadrant for that I am going to divide the whole thing by 2 if I divide here I get x by 4 less than x by 2 here x by 2 This x by 4 is nothing but it is in the 180 by 4 that is 45 degree. Here it is 45 degree and here it is 90 degree. So it lies between 45 and 90 which will be in the first quadrant. Therefore x by 2 lies in the first quadrant. So first quadrant not a problem everything will have a positive sign so no no need to worry for a first quadrant because all things are all trigonometric ratios are positive in the first quadrant so we can directly write everything to be positive for that we need to find the value of x by 2 first we need to find the value of x by 2 what they have given is tan x is equal to minus 4 by 3. They have given tan x is equal to minus 4 by 3. We know a formula of tan a. Tan a is nothing but 2 tan a by 2 by 1 minus tan square x by 2 equal to minus 4 by 3. Instead of this, I am substituting the formula tan 2a equal to 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a. I have substituted this formula here. Instead of a, here it is x. So by 2 I have written. So it becomes 2 tan x by 2 by 1 minus tan, tan square x by 2 equal to minus 4 by 3. Just cross multiply both. Solve it. I cross multiply both. I get 6 tan x by 2 is equal to minus 4 plus 4 tan square x by 2. Bring everything to one side. I get 4 tan square x by 2 minus tan x by 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. Here we need to do in a quadratic. It is in a quadratic form of x square x and a constant term. If this is in a quadratic form, then we need to solve it by here it is 4 tan sorry, 6 6 tan. We need to solve it by splitting the middle term. Before that, it goes in 2 tables. So, I just want to divide it by 2 tables to make it very easy. Here it becomes minus 3 tan x by 2 minus 2 equal to 0. If I multiply this 2, I get minus 4. While splitting, I need to get minus 3. So, for 1s are 4. If I multiply, I will get this. Put this sign in, for, in a greater number. So, just multiply and see. As it is plus minus, we need to subtract. If I subtract, I get minus 3. So, you can write this to be 2 tan square x by 2 minus 4 tan x by 2 plus tan x by 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. If I take common outside 2 tan x by 2 common outside I get 
tan x by 2 minus 2. If I take common tan x by 2 outside in both the cases here inside it will be tan x by 2 minus 2 twos are 4 so tan x by 2. Similarly the bracket should be same so I want to write the bracket first then the common thing here is equal one is common in both the cases. Now write the co common bracket once and the leftover in another bracket that is 2 tan x by 2 plus 1. I am writing this in one bracket and the rest in another bracket. If I write this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0 I get tan x by 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 then tan x by 2 equal to 2. Same way when I write this is equal to 0 2 tan x by 2 plus 1 is equal to 0 I get tan x by 2 equal to minus 1 here it is in multiply so it comes as a divide now I have got tan x plus 2 x by 2 is equal to 2 and tan x, x by 2 equal to minus 1 by 2 now we know that tan x by 2 lies in the first quadrant as I told before we have found that this lies in the first quadrant it, as it lies in the first quadrant it will be positive so I negative value is discarded so we can't we need not to take the negative value it is not possible in the first quadrant so I am just taking the tan x by 2 equal to 2 so now we got tan x by 2 is equal to 2 that means 2 by 1 I am going to do in a right angle triangle form here it is opposite by adjacent so opposite side is 2 opposite of theta that is x by 2 is x by 2 is 2 and the adjacent side is 1 and here it becomes root of 2 square plus 1 square that is 4, 4 plus 2 4 plus 1 that is 5. So just if you want do it and check ABC BC square equal to AB square plus AC square so here it becomes 2 square plus 1 square which is equal to 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 and BC equal to root 5 so BC equal to root 5 so they have asked for sin x by 2 which is equal to you know that it is opposite by hypotenuse that is equal to opposite side is 2 by root 5. So similarly cos x by 2 equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. So you can write all the values here sin x by 2 is equal to 2 by root 5 cos x by 2 equal to 1 by root 5 then they have also asked for tan x by 2 so tan x by 2 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side so we have found what they have asked for that's all with the sum thank you